This is the Load Paths in Buildings webinar today. And this webinar is covering both the loads that go into that load path and where that load path goes through a building with a focus on the connections within the building, no matter what kind of gravity and lateral load path you happen to have. So the intent behind it was that new engineers and architects um, and building department employees would get a better sense of what a load path is and what goes into it, as well as mid-career engineers just looking for a refresher. So that was our intended audience today. We're going to look at the general load path throughout a building, and we'll look at both light frame construction, concrete shear walls, and steel frames. Look at, uh, is there a connection there when there should be? And differentiate between gravity and lateral load paths. If you have any questions after this webinar, feel free to contact me. This slide has my contact information on it. You can email me or you can call me. Either one works fine. And I'm always happy to answer questions that you come up with about the code as well if there's something that's been driving you crazy because we definitely have gray areas within our codes. All right, so the order that we're looking at today, we're going to look at loads first with just a brief refresher of what goes into various gravity loads, what goes into lateral loads. We'll spend some time on load combinations, and then we'll look at gravity load paths, lateral load paths, and those connections, and then spend some time on incomplete load paths and just identifying you know, where's the spot that uh, needs work. Today, you'll have an opportunity both when some slides come up that specifically have a question for you to answer, and as Maria mentioned, please just type in your answer to the Q&A box. And then as we look at some of the photos later on, you'll also have an opportunity to describe what you see going on in those photos. So first question of the day happens to be, which code do you use? You can just type in A, B, C, D, or E into your chat box. The question being, which edition of the IBC and ASCE, ASCE 7 do you typically reference? So A would be the 2009 IBC and ASCE 705. B is 2012 IBC and ASCE 710. C, 2015 IBC, ASCE 710. D, 2018 IBC and ASCE 716, if any of you have uh, started using that set, or E, just all of the above as you need them. And uh, so far we have a number of people saying the 2015 IBC with ASCE 710. That seems to be the most common, although there's some of you that are still using the 2012 IBC and ASCE 710. And just uh, one or two that have used the 2018 so far and all of the changes to ASCE 716. So another thing I added into this webinar was um, a bit of discussion about some of the changes that are coming up in ASCE 716 so you have a sense of what's coming ahead. We won't spend a lot of time on them but we'll look at them briefly. All right. So let's start by just looking at the loads that are going to be occurring in a building. And we have, at the roof level, a construction load that is basically just a load that we assume would be there if somebody is re-roofing or doing repairs or doing maintenance to some of the um, structures that have been put onto a roof your HVAC system, anything else that might happen to be up there. With our new um, garden roofs, we have a number of additional things that didn't used to be on a roof that can require maintenance as well. In the interior of the building, we have the dead load of the structure itself, so everything that's permanently there in the structure, and then the live load that we consider both people and any objects that people bring into that area that may change over time rather than remaining in the building for the life of the building. And 
you will see within the codes over time that some things start off being described as a live load, they later become a dead load just as people change their assumptions about how long some object might be inside a building, whether it's for the life cycle of a building for 20 years or only one year.